this is Sam Schwinn with Revolution Machine Tools and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to fine-tune your programs that you've written on the Dell MDA 58T control. Um, through is the program screen just so you can break down the programs better. So I'm going to go into drawing so we can look at this again. This is my shape and um, so I got different length legs here and that kind of thing so we're going to go into program and we'll see what we can do to adjust it. So obviously you got air bending, the bending length, how wide the part is you're bending, um, your mute point. Your mute point is only adjustable up to the point that your press brake dies mute point is set to. So at a certain point you can change how small that is and it's not going to adjust unless you adjust your mute point on your die. Um, but if you want your mute point to be higher, you can change that. It's also ex uh, affected, your mute point's affected by how your lasers are set up. If your lasers are set too far below your punch, your mute point is going to be taller. So even though you adjust this down and you can adjust your mute point down on your uh, die, you, if your lasers aren't set up right, you'll still have, it'll still hit your mute way above where you want to hit it to be able to have quicker production times. Um, parallelism uh, changes your parallel, so if you want one end open or you can adjust that. Here's your opening, so one of those legs was longer, so I can take and tell it to open wider after I bend two of those. It automatically calculates that when you program, but if for some reason you need it bigger, you can go in here and you can tell it to open that opening up even wider. Um, here's your force. Every once in a while you might run into a problem where it says you don't have or it says I only need 0.8 tons to bend my, my product but when it comes down hits the mute point it won't bend it just freezes and what that is is the tonnage is too low and you have to bump that up. So that's something to watch for if you can't figure out why it's not bending that is very possible why it's not bending. So check that, bump it up to about one ton and uh, it should be sufficient. Um, dwell time is, is where it comes down. It bends your piece of material and when it hits the bottom it sits there for a second and before it retracts. Uh, then you also have decompression. So decompression is if you're bending really long pieces and you don't want them to come dropping down on your head because it's uh, retracts too fast, you can set how far it, and how long your decompression stroke is. And then that's also adjustable um, down here a little bit farther. So you have your pressing speed, so that's how fast it'll push down. Uh, this is the highest it goes, but if you ever want to know how high or how low it goes, you can select that and we can go zero, enter, so it'll go down to 0 0.08 inches <laughs> A second, which is incredibly slow. But if you want to know what its maximum is, you can go 99 and it'll go back up to the 0.394 for how many inches it'll press per second. Um, but you can also set your decompression speed. So here's your decompression, how far you want it to come up slow before it finishes its rapid retract. And this is the speed you can set it at. Um, so those are super useful, especially when you're doing larger parts so that you don't get smacked by them. Um, so right here is, is repetition. So say you're uh, bending, I'm going to show you a part here. So you're bending this piece here. This piece here has legs that are the same. So you can take and you can go into your program and obviously it's going to be a hard one to program in there because it's not a 3D control. So instead, you know, this leg's going to be the same and this leg's going to be the same. You can uh, go in and tell it that you want to, you know, instead of just bend here and bend here, that you want to bump here and here or and then here or whichever way you want to do it. So instead of programming multiple steps in, you can just tell it to hit it more than once. So you just go in there and you tell it, tell it how many times you want to repeat that bend. And uh, 
so that's pretty handy. Um, we can we have wait for retract, comes down, presses, and uh, resets. Okay, so also we have auxiliary on your auxiliary X axis. You can take and you, sh you can set your fingers, your X axis fingers, to back off essentially and how far you want them backed off. So you can set up your retract here and how far you want it to retract on your bend. So it'll take and uh, that's what this is actually, it's your delay time. So as it comes down, it takes, it pauses for a second, pinches your material to keep it from moving, moves your x-axis backwards, and then will bend, and then come back up. So you can change the retract, and then you can also change the speed at which your x-axis is moving. Uh, so those are handy for when you, you know, if you have a long leg, a couple long legs, take, you don't want, so you've got a double return like this, and then now you're throwing another bend in here, so you've got two returns that's coming up, and you don't want that one leg to come smack your fingers in the back. You'll take and you'll set that retract and the delay so that it delays it, uh, the bend, so it doesn't hit your fingers in the back. So that pretty much covers the program page and uh, all of the different options and things you can do to increase the speed of your production times, which are obviously most critical things about pr doing production, production press break work. Um, that's all for now.